Hello everybody, welcome back to vlog time, it's Daisy here and today as you can tell by the title I'm going to be doing 10 easy ways a teenager can make money. So um, this is going to be a very simple video, loads of these things is what I found out people do in my school to actually make money so I know that all these work for sure and yeah if you enjoy this video and would like more videos like this subscribe down below put on the bell and like this video if you think any friends would like to then be sure to share it because that also helps a lot okay let's just jump right into the video okay so the first one i have is sell old phone cases so these phone cases have to look nice and kind of new like not like brand spanking new so i've got loads of phone cases in my drawer this one's got a phone in it. Obviously, you don't have to sell the phone if you don't want to. I've got this, I've got this, I've got... Oh, yeah, it's good if you have underwater ones. This one used to have, like, a lanyard, but I kind of lost it. I got this one with my face on it. I made this one. I have, like, all these. So, if um, some of them are, like, look really nice and good and fresh, um, then you can sell them for money because everyone's on their phone nowadays and everyone needs a phone case unless you're really risky and yeah so it would be good to s go it would be good to sell them but not for really expensive so like say a phone case like this like don't sell it for five pounds maybe three pounds that's like a good like with the pop socket like I'm only give them for free because yeah so Number one, sell phone cases for money to people who you know and like have a wide var var variety so other people with different types of phones can also buy them. But don't spend too much money on it because sometimes there's no point. Okay, so the second one is make custom phone cases. So I used to do this. So I would get um, a plain like silicone phone case and I would get Sharpies and I would get what they wanted on it. So some people went to like Grand Theft Auto so I would get a picture of it. And I would draw onto the phone case really well. And then you can sell them for a little bit more. Maybe like £3.50, £4 if like it's really good. And also if you can do like really nice like writing. Then you can get their name. And then so say you got a phone case. And you might draw it from here and like write Daisy like all the way across, Minus the pop socket. And you can get like anything they want. And also you, can, you might want to get like one of these ones. Oh where did it go? Oh yeah like this. These are... Like with your face on it. I have no clue how much it was. But I got it anyways. Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. Anywho, yeah, so like you can make customized phone cases, which loads people love, and they're so cool because you could have literally anything. And also, um, like names and you can get like Mod Podge and like put it in and glitter the whole phone case. It looks amazing. Okay, so the third one is to sell old pop sockets. Because pop sockets are like £10, which is very pricey for something that just sticks to the back of your phone. So um, this one here is um, from Turkey, as you can probably tell because I love the football in Turkey. So I got a pop socket. This was about 6 lira, which is £3 in our money, I'm pretty sure. No, as you know, it's not. It's like divided by eight, so it's like really cheap. That's what it is. So if you have like old pop sockets, but they're like still in good condition, then you can sell them to people. But if you get the sticky bit, peel it off, and what's it like? I can't remember, but it's like this type of paper. Not paper. It's like, you know stickers, how they cover that like glossy bit of paper? Like you stick that on it and it'll keep the stickiness, so you just peel it back off like it's a fresh sticker. And I would normally sell them for like about £4, which is actually a really, really, really good price compared to £10 for a little pop socket. That all it does is literally that. Oh, and this one has like gold on the back. Also, you can buy white ones of these and you can customise them for people, which is really fun as well. So you can write their names and all that on it. Um, yeah, that's really fun and fresh. So number three is sell your old pop sockets um, if you don't need them. You can also, if you're in Scotland, you can go to Poundland and you can buy these like ring pop sockets. I have one um, on my phone and it's like rose gold. And when you um, paint it up, you put your finger through it so it looks like you're holding a ring. They're only a pound and you could sell them for like a pound fifty or like two pounds each. And you can get like different pattern ones, which is really good because they're really cheap. 
so I would definitely recommend trying to buy cheap ones and sell them up for a little bit more than you bought them for. Okay, so those are kind of weird, but people in my school do it. So say on Snapchat you get loads of views, like 300 views, and your bestest friend might only get like 120. You can sell them cheap promos, so maybe it'll be like, okay, if for one pound I will take a photo of you and put your like, um, no, like a pound, I will put your, I'll tag you in my Snapchat post. So and then like you can upload it and then they'll get like more ads. And then you might be like, okay, for a pound fifty, I'll add your face and your, I'll like tag you in it. So then you can sell promos for people because I know, um, people in my math class, they're like sitting on their phones and they're like, okay, right, you saw me a promo on your Snapchat story, which is crazy because I didn't think actually people would do that. But it turns out people are really desperate for views, even though it literally gets you nothing. So yeah, you can sell people cheap promos for your social media, but only do it if you have like loads of views, like 300, 400, 500. Not like if you have 20 views, don't be like, I'll like sell your promo to my 20 people. No. So number four is sell cheap promos to people for Snapchat or any social media because people are so thirsty for views and all that and follow. So definitely take that one into consideration. Okay, so this one's really easy. So say, um, this one's like embrace your hobby. So say you're really good at nail art. There's this girl who's left school now, I think. Yeah, so I saw a girl and she's like left school now and she was really good at nail art. So she would go around to teachers asking if they wanted, like she would go around early, like a week early, ask if they wanted their nails on for the holiday break. So she would take in her gel machine and everything and she would sit and like do nail art. So like she would be like snowflakes, snowman, snowflakes, snowman. And like a glittery silver one and she did them on like all the teachers like art teachers so like and any teachers so when you went to school you're like oh my god I like your nails and all that and she would actually get like lots of money for it so she might get like um 10 pounds for like a full handed jana which is actually a really good deal considering you get like actual art on your nails but you can get like cheaper for like five pounds from her if you just wanted like a solid color like a white but then she could also do matte and also um Yes, yeah, so you could do that. And also if you're good at baking, then you could like bake like treats and all that and you could go and sell them to people because I used to do that. I had to got quite a lot of money for it. So like I would bake cupcakes and like decorate them really well, with, like piping, and, like decorations and everything. I would go to my um school playground, like the main bit where everyone went, and I would sell it to everyone and they would all be sold because they loved them. That's what made me keep on going and making money. Which is pretty good. And half the time um, the money I made, I didn't just spend on toys. I actually spent it on more um, things to make cupcakes. I spent it on more like food dyes, like flavoring, like really nice stuff. Um, new recipes because I would often make like frosting recipes, but it wouldn't be like all artificial flavors. I would have to get strawberries and I would make buttercream and I would like blend it in and I could make like any flavor, which was really fun because you could get so creative with it. You could literally make a blueberry pancake frosting. It was amazing. And because we're in Scotland, like in America, everything's awesome. They get like all flavoured everything. Over here you get like, the main flavours you get in stores, strawberry, vanilla, strawberry, strawberry, um, vanilla and salted caramel. Not even a chocolate. You would have to make your own. I don't know why. But number four is embrace something that you're really good at and sell it to like other people if you know that other people like it. Okay, so a lot of older girls did this in my school. So it's like, start a small school business. So whenever there was a prom coming up, the girls were like amazing at eye makeup, like amazing. So they would like put posters up saying that like you could hire them to do your makeup for like prom or anything, which was an awesome idea because they got loads of requests to do people's uh, makeup for prom. So like technically you have your own makeup artist and it wasn't even expensive. It was like, I don't even know how much an hour, but it was really good because they did amazing makeup. And those people who went to the prom, they all had to make it done by the same group of girls. They were so lovely though. So that's like a really easy one if you're good at makeup, which is start like a small little business. So like hire me if you wanna, if you wanna be good and like have a like really nice prom makeup because loads of people wanna look good and fresh when they're going to prom. They don't wanna look, if they can't do makeup then they don't wanna do it. So it's always good to get someone else to do it. That one's really simple. This is a crazy one, but um, loads of old people do it. If you can drive, only do it if you can drive, because, yeah. 
So you can be your own friend's like personal taxi driver. So you can drive them to places, but obviously like they gotta pay because you gotta pay for like gas and fuel and all that. Then there's these boys in Essex and all that, and they do it to their friends. If like it's lunchtime and they want to go out to get a subway or a Domino's pizza, then they drive them out to Inverary and they pick up and they drive all the way back. They like pay each other, so it's actually really good because they're both getting well. The person who's driving is getting money, not the person who's getting driven there. And it's actually really good because you can take loads of people in the car and they all have to pay you. So it's like, it's a really good idea. And loads of people do it in my school. And I was like, that is so smart. And then, and I get jealous because then they're all sitting at a table in the massive social area, like eating dominoes. I'm like, damn, that looks good. This one's pretty fun. So let's do a fundraiser for charity. So there might be like a run coming up or there might be a 50 mile cycle. So like you might have to record the cycle over like, a month and you have to do at least 50 miles on your bike um so like you can get people to like fundraise you and all that money to like help you do it or there might be a bake sale and people can come around because i did a bake sale before oh my god it was for red nose day i made the most money ever but we all went to charity so it was all good i got a certificate for raising loads of money and all that it was so awesome and i'm so proud of myself for doing that and i got loads of sponsors and people coming around and helping me because we were there and we were like a minute late and there was just massive crowd of people i was like oh there must be like a disco under the hall i went and they were like oh yeah you're here and i'm like yeah okay i was not expecting that i was expecting like a couple of people but like you know a whole crowd of like people from my year and like loads of other people which was crazy but it was really fun and beneficial to the people who needed the money that i raised this one's a little crazy but I've seen um, some of the people on my table who I sit with at lunch. Well, like, not on my table, like the table across. So there's something called personal shopper in my school. So say you've got, like, a birthday the next week and you do not know what to buy. Just give the person details. So maybe it's a girl who's seven years old, she likes Barbie dolls. Then you would give them how much money you want them to spend. And you will go buy them a birthday present and what you think would, they would like. It's kind of like Postmates. And you would buy them what they think you'd like. And they take the receipt so you can actually see that they have change or if they don't so you can give them the money back but then they will pay you a certain amount of money because you drove all the way there and drove all the way back and like spent your time buying something so it's actually really cool because you actually get to like spend other people's money shopping for someone else but then you also get paid for shopping for someone which is awesome it sounds really fun because a lot of people do it for like families and like birthdays that are coming up and that they just can't be bothered going out for so they get other people to like take the bus which is actually really cool so then you get the money back for like the money that you spent on the bus, which is like really nice. So yeah, um, so the ninth one is being a personal shopper because it is awesome. You just get to literally spend someone else's money and get money for doing that. Okay, so this one's my favorite. This is, okay, this one is make stress toys because school is so stressful. You need something to like help you out. So in my school, we used to like make a bunch of stress balls like, this one's filled with self-raising flour because self-raising flour is, like, so soft. It's, like, the best thing ever. And you can fill them with, like, rice. And, oh, my God, it's amazing. So we would go around to school selling these. And, you know, like, Ublik, when you get, like, the cornstarch and add the water. And, then, like, if you punch it, it's solid. And if you, like, slowly squeeze it, it's, like, a liquid. You put that in it. So, like, if you were just, like, doing that, like, slowly, it would be, like, nice and watery. But as soon as you went, like, Rah! it was, like, solid, like a rock. So loads of people bought these because they were like so fun and then you can add like little eyes on them and like little pe um, pizzas little bits of hair i have no clue why i said pizza but they are so cool because loads of people love these and the feel of it is so soft so you know self raising flour as a kid you're probably like making cookies or something and you feel it and you're like that's soft you put your hands and start playing with it uh, i wouldn't put my hands in play with it because that's gross so i'd like treat bits on out on the table and start playing with it it was the best. I started to make stress balls with my friends. We made loads of money for it. And it was awesome. So the last one I have is make stress balls because school is very stressful. Stressful and yeah, it's also really good to have something in your pencil case to just like play with or in your pocket. Yes. Okay, so this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you learned some things to do, how to make some extra money. Um, it's actually, these are all really, really simple. Like, if you think about it, make, selling a phone case is not lots of effort at all. Um, if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave some comments down below of other videos that you would like me to see 
I mean, me to make for you guys. Um, so maybe you want me to try some products that you don't want to try because you're scared. So I'll do it for you. That's all I have for today. So I will see you all next video. Goodbye.